What's up everyone? It's your boy LJ and in this video I'm going to talk about the first time that I put on a lot of weight. Um, <laughs> well a lot of weight for me and it was an intentional um, weight gain. It was back in January of 2016 uh, and at that time I decided that I wanted to put on 30 pounds. I was weighing in at about 155 and I had never really weighed more than 165 uh, throughout my lifetime. Now, I'm not a very tall person, so 30 pounds uh, on my frame was, or at least I felt was gonna make a, a really big difference. I'm about five foot five, five foot six on a good day. Um, so yeah, I mean, 30 pounds was actually, it was going to be a, a big, uh, a big project. Um, one of the reasons why I decided to do it uh, was really one because I had never weighed that much before so I was I was curious um, and then also it was around the time that I really started to commit to powerlifting um, and really getting into that so of course the bro science in me or the bro in me was like well weight pushes weight so I was like, maybe if I put on uh, a few pounds, I'll be able to squat more or I'll be able to deadlift more. I'll be able to bench more. I honestly didn't really <laughs> put too much thought behind it or really uh, look into what the implications would be health wise. Uh, so please don't follow this uh, or don't go and attempt this to, on your own. Uh, do some research and whatnot. I honestly just uh, did lay out a plan for myself that I wanted to gain about uh, two to three pounds a week. Uh, and also I wanted to lose it by the time summer came because, you know what I mean, Sum summer bod, like it was <laughs> whatever. But anyhow, so I started this at the beginning of January uh, 2016. And like I said before, I was trying to put on about Two and a two to three pounds of um, of of weight a week, and I started eating more. Like as, as simply put, I started to eat a lot more. So I was eating probably like six to seven times a day, um, and I was consuming anywhere between five to six thousand calories a day. Uh, and again. It was all bro science. I figured I'd just eat a lot. And um, I was eating maybe every three hours, uh, 4 a.m., 7 a.m., 10 a.m., and then 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m. would be my last meal. Um, and then all over again the following day. Um, so yeah, I was, I was again, consuming around five to six thousand calories a day so that was that was a pretty drastic change I mean I was constantly full and just I got to a point where I just hated food I hated seeing it um, but I just I continued on like I had a, a again I had a goal in my mind of 30 pounds um, and so yeah uh, it was it was a very interesting experience to say the least um, I, I would say that it did get me comfortable with the heavier weight, um, uh, but again, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, definitely was very bro science of it. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a picture um, in this clip, but yeah, it was it was definitely a lot of weight. I I one of the other things that I did stop doing was a lot of cardio, obviously because I was trying to put on the weight. So I wasn't really doing a lot of cardio to begin with, uh, obviously like the warm up and at the end like the cool down cardio, but I wasn't running as much uh, where before I was doing a lot of those five milers and or and whatnot just uh, on an, on a daily basis. Uh, but I, the eating aspect of it, a lot of what I was consuming was still fairly healthy. Um, it was still um like chicken breast uh, broccoli um some of those like weight gainer shakes not not purchased they were they were homemade i mean it was uh 
a lot of it was, was say, peanut butter, oats, um, milk, uh, banana, um, and whatnot. So a lot of those weight gain type meals. And one of the things that I would mention is that it can get kind of expensive. Uh, I mean, you're consuming every three hours, or at least I was consuming food every three hours. So uh, it, it does it, it does get pricey. Um, so I, I will say that I was very fortunate at, that at the time I when I decided to go on and uh, take on this project uh, that I was working in tech. Um, I was working at LinkedIn at the time, so uh, they would provide snacks, they would provide breakfast, lunch, and whatnot. So I was able to uh, keep it up and uh, can have those meals where I was still getting fairly nutritional food. Um, but I wasn't breaking the bank. I mean, a lot of it was coming from their kitchens or, or, or it was Monday to Friday. So a lot of the food that I was consuming was from uh, from the company. So uh, as far as the money aspect goes, like it was, I was fortunate and I'm in that aspect. Um, yeah, uh, it was uh, it was an interesting experience, uh, and uh, I did learn from it. Uh, it but again, it was super bro. Uh, <laughs> would I do it again? Heck no. That was uh, the only time and the last time. Um, did I accomplish what I was trying to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, I put on the thirty pounds. I think it was around March seventeenth that I hit one eighty five, one eighty six, uh, which was and is by far the heaviest I've ever weighed. Um, because of how stupidly I did it, um, I do still have, I have stretch marks uh, under my arms, um, right around this area uh, on both sides because I mean, my body just wasn't used to carrying or, or, or being at that type of weight. So the body composition was, uh, I mean, I, it got impacted by it. Um, but yeah, uh, I. I think by the June 2016th, early July, um, I was back down to 155. Um, so, I mean, it was it was just a project that I decided to take on and, and it was cool. I mean, I, I wouldn't do it again, but I just figured I'd share with with all of you. Uh, just it, I, I think we all just get curious to see what our bodies are capable of. And that was for sure something that I was just uh, curious um curious about so i just went ahead and, and and went for it um definitely helped to have a plan um so like i mentioned i i did have a set poundage in mind two to three pounds a week um and obviously set meal times and everything so it definitely helped speed up the process um but yeah i mean i've had people ask before uh obviously not here on YouTube or whatnot. I mean, I don't have like <laughs> the greatest or the biggest following here. So, but I had, I've had friends ask before and like, and, and they noticed the weight gain, um, especially on my Instagram, I'll post it from time to time on Transformation Tuesday. Um, yeah, uh, actually, now that I'm mentioning it, go check it out when you have a chance. It's my boy LJ, uh, my Instagram handle, uh, yeah. So my boy LJ, you'll see a lot of workout stuff and whatnot. Um, and from time to time, I'll post the uh, pictures of my my before and after um, from that weight gain to now um, and other transformations. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so that was the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, I'm hoping to keep these short and just really briefly touch on things that I've done and whatnot. I'm not try not to go too granular into it. Just keep it light, keep it conversational. Um, and eventually I move away from the fitness stuff. But for now, I mean, it's kind of what I know. It's what I do. So I figured I'd just share some of my experiences. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, this is your boy LJ. And uh, I'll catch you next time.